Got him. Oh, what is this? If this is a crappie, it's a super tank, bud. You already get scuffed up on ice. All right, today we're gonna go to my uh, nephew's lake where he's never been able to catch crappie in the winter. So today we're gonna teach you how to find crappie and catch crappie with tungsten jigs. Let's go. Yeah, I did a lot of dirty work yesterday. I think I found some good crappie in like uh, some deeper water. And now my nephew, Danny T, I'm on his lake. You might remember him as the F word kid. He says a lot of F words when he catches big fish, that's why. Oh yeah, bud. Let's go, see if we can get some crap stars with the F word kid. The F word kid is back. What's going on, guys? Long time no see. <laughs> this guy says so many F words, it's so hard to edit. You know how much hours they spend on your F words, bro? Anyway, we need your young labor. Mother. Let's go. <laughs> That's the only reason why you're here, to cash in on my dirty work, bro. <laughs> 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 you're lucky it's windy. I'm doing recon for, <laughs> for Uncle D and Danny T. <laughs> <laughs> This is where I found them. You can see here, it's kind of like a deep rock face. So that's just steepness. And in winter, if you can't find crappie, find the steepest bank in the lake and start drilling. And that's what I did and I found them. So steep was good, but will it be good today, Daddy T? Let's find out. Butter right there. Let's go. Oh my God, I missed him again. Oh my God. Got him. Got him, Dan. What is it? Be a crappie. Oh yeah, bud. Got a crappie. Oh. I found him. Dan, not a giant, but I'm on him. Look at this. They're down there heavy. Ooh, they're down there. These deeper ones, they just moved a bit deeper to 34 feet. I'm marking them like crazy. Here we go. Seems to be the thing. You get one or two and then you gotta move. I don't know, sure, you get, get spooked off. Drill another hole not too far away. Bang. I caught one and lost two. Yeah, you don't need to be in the hut. We need to be moving. You marked a pile? Oh, these are good lines. Yeah. Jeez. This is where I had them pounded. Try a smaller bait. That's what I did. I got I got like bite after bite, but they might be coming around now. They're moving. They're on you hard. I had them over there, but they weren't chasing me. I don't think they're crappy. The crappies will chase. Shake it above their head and make them come out. Like I kind of shake it. I had multiples. Like I got bit and then another different fish came. There's like a school of them and then they just swam, flew by. What's perplexing to me, I went from that hole to this hole and then one hole was loaded. It's like, how is that possible? I was marking. But the time's now, like it's coming now, you know? Four o'clock on is where these things will bite. Today's a bit of a weather snap, right? So it's harder. This is all warm, you know what I mean? What I did like this, got him to rise. And then, and as he's coming faster, I just stop. And then I just let him hit it, boom. And then you kind of just got him. Danny T's got him. You did what I said, eh? But nice. It's crappy, eh? There we go. Holy cow. On the board and it was live bait. I switched to a live bait. Oh, live minnow? Live minnow. Oh, maybe that's the trick, bud. Where's the minnow? Or is it dead? It was in the bucket there? Holy. Weird. Dang, he is on him. They're sticking put now, eh? They weren't staying put. Like, I caught it and then they just buggered off. That's one right there. That one's on Danny's feet right now. It's late in the day. Fish seem like they're starting to move. Danny T just got one. There you go, Danny T. He's on another. Oh, this is a good one, Danny. This might be a better one, Danny. Nice, Danny. Danny T. He's getting them. Not the biggest, but there's some bigger ones in here for sure. For sure. Get going. The time is now. Yeah. There it is. Another Switch one. Let's go. The artificial to the live bait. Man. Okay, Danny T. Go nuts. We're on. We're on them. We're on them, Taro. I think that bait was a little too big, dude. Like you said, you said drop it down a size. I got one on me here. Oh yeah, they're starting to bite now. Here we go. Oh, I missed them. I just missed them. <laughs> Both last fish on minnow. All right, sold. 
Tungsten jigging minnow, frostbite. Small minnow though, small minnow. I got another one on. Oh, I got off. Oh my God, Dan, you're on him. It's just, the, you gotta like be patient on the location maybe and believe in it, right? Where's the big ones? Yeah, where's the slabos at? You know if those little ones are around, there's big ones too. Well, I caught the bigger ones a little shallower, so I don't know if it's a depth thing, but I doubt it. Like that one looked better there, didn't it? The line was thicker. Marking again. Me too. Got him. Nice. This one feels a bit better. Oh, nice. Bit better, bit better, Danny. All we're using is a little tungsten jig. I'm using a drench, a little emerald shiner. The big graph is ideal for tiny baits and smaller fish. You got one on you? Yep. Right as you asked that. It starts as a little small thing and then it turns into bigger, bigger, right? There is bigger ones. Caught them yesterday, lost a big one at the hole. So there is some plates in here. I hope it's a random gig where we're not on that one class of fish in a certain depth. <laughs> well, I got one here now, I think, starting. Oh, I got two on me. Oh, you buggers. Oh my God, just hit it. Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, they're on me. Got up. Got up. Oh, that was a good one. Oh my God, Danny. Oh, that was a good one, man. It was heavy. Oh, that was a heavy one. I can't believe it. There's so many right here. Oh, that sucked. That was a heavy one, dude. The line was big too. I don't know if that was a crappie. If it was, ooh, kind of hesitated. They're coming up again. Oh yeah, they're coming. But that one, I don't know if I'll replace that one. I got so many here right now. You're saying you're marking there? Got him. Yeah, it's a better one. This is a crappie. Oh yeah, bud. Oh, that's a slab, bud. <laughs> Woo, daddy T. It was worth it. Steep rock faces. Tungsten minnow. Let's go. Crap stars. That's our best one. Get down, Danny. They're biting. <laughs> Scared to drill holes though right now. Yeah, we dr I drilled a lot of holes. You can see on the graph how many fish are here right now. Jeez. It's electric. That's a 12 incher. That one charged up fast, eh, Danny? That fish came flying. There's another one flying. See my jig going down? There's another one flying here. Uh oh, here we go. The time is now. Well, oh, he's charging up. Here it is. Got him. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Holy cow, bud. This is a good one. Oh. Danny T. This is what it's all about. <laughs> There it is, another one. We gotta get down there though. We'll show our crop stars in a second, but they're biting now, we gotta take advantage. I don't wanna drill, do you know what I mean? I know how they go when they, if you drill, you can spook them. This is sick though, eh? Oh, they're stacked down there. 34 feet basin, steep, eh? Just had to wait. We kind of fished all day and got nothing. Well, we started kind of late, but got a dink. Saw the schools were really moving through, not holding, right now they're holding. Nice class of fish too right now, eh, Danny T? Oh, I lost my school. They're coming to you, Danny. It's when he can make them come up in a diagonal line rather than kind of a slow riser. When you can make them come up fast, they seem to bite. Got him, got him. Fish on. Oh, I lost him. It was a good one, bud. I need to get the battery for the camera, but can't. Oh man. They're all over you? Stock. Good move, Danny. Missed them? It's good news that there's bigger ones here, eh? The graph is electric right now. Oh my God, I lost them again. I keep losing these guys. What's wrong with my hook and minnows? I got too big a minnow. This is insane. I gotta lightly hook it. I'm missing so many good chances. This is driving me crazy. You getting bite, Danny? Hard to hook? Missed them? You gotta kind of go like directly straight up. Instead of like backwards behind you, like sponge on them. I was in a major school just a second ago. They're going, going to you now. You stole my school, bro. The lines are shooting everywhere, right? They are biting now. But Danny T moved over to my hole or close to me and now I got nothing. <laughs> on my screen, stinking Danny T. Women love them, but so do crop stars. <laughs> I gotta get that other camera going. I got a fish on me and I'm trying to 
change the battery out of this camera because the bite's electric and we got no battery and there's a fish on me uh oh can i change this battery before the fish gets me maybe not i don't think so oh they're back on me got them i got them you really got a spike upwards this is a good one danny oh just got him <laughs> holy I'm trying to put a battery in the camera i got another beauty Woo. okay the camera set up so what we waited all day for was this moment oh gotta get in there oh i almost sat in the water too excited minnow seems to be good right now eh you got them on your hole, Danny? We had fish all day coming in on it. Well, we found fish and then they would just leave. We'd catch a couple, but right now they're sticking around to bite the moment is now. This angle, three quarter angle. Let's try it. Ain't Jay Siemens, but I'm trying. Okay, let's go. 34 feet, anything in the 30 plus seemed to be where we got them, eh? Let's go, crop stars. Oh, there's one coming. Just kissed it and didn't bite it. Oh, another one coming. Here he comes, come on. So you got it? Yeah, he's got it. Got it. I got it. It's a good one. Don't come off. Don't come off. It's a good one. Oh yeah. Look at that one, Danny Keys. Holy cow. We're smoking. I gotta get my line down. Too much talk. Danny T discovered it. Just that frostbite tungsten with the dinky minnow, eh? Emeraldo. Dead or alive? Let's go. This is gonna be an editing nightmare. Crop stars on ice. We're gonna be eating good. If you get fish, I'd say over a ton of 12 inches, might be a good idea to release some. That's a nice class to have around. But these are perfect eaters, these 10 to 12s. 12 might be pushing it for eating, but can we get a 16? Do you think there's a giant down here, Danny T? Oh, he's coming. Oh, he buggered off. The moment is now. We must strike while the iron is hot. Woo! My heart's pounding, there's one on me. Oh, I had him. Oh my God, didn't even know. I didn't feel the bite at all. They are in the house. One's coming. Got him. Oh, what is this? This ain't a crappie. If this is a crappie, it's a super tank, bud. Oh, my bail opened. This might be a walleye, eh? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, walleye. Oh, so sick, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And a bonus walleye. Oh man, they're on. On that frostbite little tungsten. Oh, and we have pliers. Do you have pliers there, Denny? We got uh, wire crimpers for pliers. Don't cut your hooks. Be careful if you're using wire crimpers for pliers. But we got a walleye. Is that an eater, Dan? Yeah, it's in the slot. We're family, bro. Danny T. Danny T didn't sell me out. He's family, bro. He found them. He's like, I'm on them. They're on my screen. Come down. And he called me at like the perfect time. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is madness. Let's go. Let's get another. Give me a slap. I thought that was going to be the base crappie ever. Then it just started giving her a bit too much there. Fishing the basins. The basins? Basin? Lake basin. Basins. Didn't have a map of the lake, but knew it was kind of deeper here. Just by looking at those rock walls. The steep. That's a good place to look for crappie in the winter. Got one. Oh man, I don't want, my hand was in the wrong position. Hit him, got, got him. Yeah, I got him. I don't know, it might be another walleye. No, oh. <laughs> Look at the size of this one, bud. Holy cow. That's a releaser, we're gonna let that one go. That's a super tank. Oh man, Mwah. gotta get down from that deep water. But we'll release that one for sure. I'll throw him down Danny's hole so he doesn't get spooked. Look at the size of that one, Danny. That's like a 13 inch. Yeah. And that's the type, that's kind of the class that you want to let go. I thought that was a walleye. But we're on them, eh? Keys to find them first and then just sit on them until they bite. Remember I said the timing and when they want to bite is so particular. They could be there and you don't know. That's cool. Yeah, that big screen so good. You go on split screen. I got a little tungsten jig. You can constantly mark it in 34 feet of water. 
like those uh, I know they're a little bit heavier but just for the effectiveness of reading your jig in deep water and seeing it as your eyes get bad like mine very helpful Lauren Wetzel thank you very much he suggested go big man trust me you'll love it I think I'm gonna call it quits 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 say something peace guys best you ever done on your home lake oh yeah in the winter time for sure the trick is look for deep rock faces and that's it wherever you are and uh we don't know the name of this lake Danny T can't remember yeah I don't but know anyway. what the name is sorry <laughs> <laughs> it's called crap star lake <laughs> <laughs> like packing up and leaving I come back to the rod and we see a slabzilla on the fish finder we didn't know if it was a walleye or what so I couldn't get them so I was packing up see this stuff here I said Danny T work him he got him hold him up one more time that's a big one dude holy what a way to end no, eh too. let that one go oh yeah sender bye fish good way to end the day unbelievable good way. worked them eh couldn't believe that oh yeah